BEGINNING TONIGHT WITH CONTROVERSIAL PARKING METERS ALONG OCEAN AVENUE IN CARMEL. POLICE SAY THE METERS ARE ACTUALLY FIXING THE CITY'S PARKING PROBLEMS. But MANY LOCAL BUSINESS OWNERS SAY IT'S HURTING THEIR BUSINESSES. ACTION NEWS REPORTER LAUREN SIEVER IS LIVE IN MONTEREY TONIGHT WITH OUR TOP STORY. Aaron, police held another public forum hoping to get feedback tonight uh, in their second month of a six month parking trial period. And well, the room was packed, and many locals and local business owners had a lot to say. This is what locals in Carmel are talking about the 10 parking meters that line Ocean Avenue between Unipero and Monte Verde. It now costs $2 an hour to park, a total of four hours. Police Chief Michael Calhoun says the goal is to create more turnover, one to two spaces per block. Creating turnover invites people to uh, come and shop and, and spend more time in Carmel. But local business owners and Carmel residents disagree. About 85 people filled the old Coldwater Creek store at the Carmel Plaza, expressing their frustration about it. My business is hurting. We need these meters removed. Sherry Smith owns Carrigs of Carmel and Ocean in San Carlos. She says since the pilot program started, she's seen a significant decline in business. She's even started a petition for locals to sign if they want the city to remove the meters after the six month trial period is over. So far, she has 1,500 signatures. One of those locals who opposes the meters is Ann Coles. We need to keep the charm that it has, and we're losing it as we start to try and grow and be big and be like other cities. But Chief Calhoun says the program is actually working. He says the data they've conducted shows a little under 80% turnover rate. Before the meters, it used to be 100, which he believes will actually generate business to the downtown area. By opening it up, we're just creating more space and availability. To me, that would increase uh, revenue. Now, to answer some of these concerns here tonight, Chief Cal Calhoun says he has two new ideas. One would be a coupon that he would be able to give to uh, businesses along Ocean Avenue. That would be a two-hour free coupon he they could give to their customers. And the other would be a residential parking pass for locals. Aaron. It's not over. The arguing is not over anyway. All right. Thank you, Lauren. The program will run through June 2nd. Then the city council will decide if they want to permanently add parking meters to Ocean Avenue and possibly to the rest of the downtown area as well.